So what would you like to know? Yeah. I was afraid of that. Yes, I think that that is the type of form we should have. So let's start with a short clip that uh, showed my retrospectives in Tokyo and New York, so that we could get enter enter the the uh, the mood. And in the sh in a short while, I'll explain to you what the story will be about. So I, it was my start to make it so nice and film-like. The organizers asked me to, because I'm a special case, uh, it's a, a bit of a weirdo, uh, being self-educated because, uh, and I would always stress that, because that was the reason of what I achieved, that I had no teachers. And if I had teachers, they were music musicians, musicians. So it's pretty. If it feels pretty crazy to be the professor in the um, arts academy, but I had my own way, and I'm not saying that to boast or brag, but you know, the guy who didn't know anything about animation and drew his things at home, I I drew a movie which got out of this uh, anima animation bubble and broke through, started to work as a movie and people started to see that movie, you know, people, and it became a sort of a phenomenon. I think this is important. I would like to give you belief that in those times where they are threatening us with artificial intelligence and everybody's carrying around heavy equipment. I, I'm really sorry for those DOPs or cinematographers. I, I can't take my... Um, I can't enter the lift with my dog because they're just uh, uh, transporting uh, heavy equipment up and down instead of sitting on, uh, in front of, uh, at your desk and just draw things that, that will then function as a normal movie. In my deepest... F understanding it's a feeling which can be the most art house of all the movies because oh, because you know like there's like early Jarmusch and other people you know th these people are very much condemned to mm, limitations arising from the light from the DOP the humor of the actors etc in my case you are in 99 percent uh, if you're an animator in 99 percent you're dependent on yourself of course there is a cooperation um, there are actors, the cooperation with actors is a separate things, uh, but you can be um, a god almighty. You only have, uh, you, you are only limitation in your head and what you're able to create. So how did it all start? 
I wanted to show you today a number of my movies which were there from the outset which I was doing in a chronological way so that not to get you too bored I will also count on your questions and I would also want to later show you a number of fragments of the movie Kill It and Leave This Town and also something well, this lecture was called a bit unlucky oh sorry you you threw me off track but my th this lecture uh, is called my way to animated film but it's ra it's more of a my way to the documentary because when i started to talk about not having any any mentors when it comes to the movies but this arises also from the fact that i'm a trained painter uh, i was trained by professor jaukowski and a distinguished painter one of the best polish artists of the 20th century it occurred it, it happened so that for the last few years of, of the professor i took care of him i was um, i was preparing dishes for him i was helping him to paint these were his paintings but when he couldn't hold the the the, the brush he i was painting for him a sort of adding colors etc i i i they asked me uh, i didn't want to make for a long time a documentary about him even his wife Fabakowski potoska wanted to make a movie the professor didn't agree um, he said that I have to do it, so I dive dove into something I didn't understand. Uh, mm, Natalia Dorsha was helping me with animation. She was making the making of. She was preparing the making of. But I, uh, I had about sixty hours of of the dialogues with the professor. Uh, I asked Pavo Edelman to make some shots in some cases and we but he he took the the shot and he's never worked for 30 years he's never worked so hard so i mean and it was no no, no for no budget so we had no money so he uh, he he was like an angel of course but he got best in in the private discussions which he allowed to to record on the phone so i have like 60 hours of discussions and Janek matoszyński i suggest offer that he will help me with preparing that movie so maybe you want if Janek will help me maybe this will happen so this is my road to documentary and i will also show you at the end i will show you a piece of magical movie movie from Tomasz Stancic who uh, who uh, mm, composed it for and he rec recorded it for my new uh, for my upcoming film uh, come to my uh, funeral in a, in a red dress so right now I will start from my past animation and I would want to play with the first movie. It is an anticipation. There's Pod Franceski. It's it was a movie which I drew for myself. I fell in love with animation but just by accident. Uh, I must tell you I I don't I was a painter after Fiokowski's class. Yeah, I couldn't live off that. I was mm, working as an assistant in the Fine Arts Academy, but that didn't support me either. And I got a proposal to make make a set design to to Tygodnie Kulturalne, which looked totally different than today. It was a, a, a TV with mission. There was no politics, or maybe a bit, but it was not some sort of a... It was not such a political rodeo one-sided... I, I, there is no co comparison. It was a culture. We made a. F mm. I was doing scenography there, and set design uh, in a TV w had a good side that because all all the programs you have to be on you sit around and be r r on duty. If there was a critic who was talking about who was repeating because it was it was um, um, recorded when he was repeating his uh, his uh, thing uh, i was i started to draw and zosana wapicka came she was running the cultural programs in uh, on polish tv you know this is not a radio this is a, a tv you should show it and it was we put on the illustrations in the book of us and it was like that so i got the commission that for the next book 
I w- should make three pictures. I remember that, like I think, like for one hundred zloty is one fifth of my, of of the money I got. But because I'm a guy from which I was extremely ambitious, and that was the book that I really got into. It was um, Roadside Dog by Czesław Mursz, and I I s- saw that this is an opportunity for me that somebody from which will see me, and I did sixty drawings. I know that, and I was thirty something. I went to the editing, and we, b- when we got that together, suddenly it started to move. When we b- started to move it, uh, to do it for, uh, to, for to this book, and I think there are situations in the life of every person. You remember the first love, your f- f- some uh, out things out of the blue, and, and I was hit by uh, by lightning. Then I kn- I understood that I don't want to be a painter. I want to make paint my, make my imagination set in motion to set i wanted to set, set my imagination in, in motion i had a good r- r- reviews in good uh, uh, of my art uh, jacek verbanski was writing in exit for example about my works uh, and i was already well i had some name but in one second i mean like a man s- sees a girl in the street and he leaves his life behind and follows her and that was the beginning this was and th- then i promised myself one thing that i will not look at what other people are doing that having being 30 something i will uh, experience an, uh, um, um, an adventure of a of a teenager i do have some background after fiaukowski's um, um, work as a, a sort of cooperation and his workshop uh, but i will start from manual so when i remember what i was doing at that time it was really hardcore but because i never assumed that i will take part in some sort of competition that n- but it was for me uh, the best fun in life you have something you find you find a martian and you don't, don't know his language he doesn't know uh, your language and you start to create some beautiful story and i started i uh, i started to do other things to support myself but i did work for myself just for And then it was shown in the New York, and they they, they commissioned some work, and then it, things started to work. And my my role was not to not to peep on others. Of course, I as a as a educator, I give an alternative an alternative to my students. You you know, if you want, you can either observe and learn and educate yourself from others. There's a lot of pressure on our students. You know, the the job market is very difficult because sometimes you can get the competition, then you make another m- film the stress of competition is very very strong which i think that today quite often eats young talents because the pressure is so strong for competition i allowed myself to take my own path some uh, parallel one and i never dreamt about somebody even noticing me so i will show you a first first short movie which was pr- presented in the contemporary art museum in new york but I did it for myself out of my own, it was my own naive tribute to the cinema. F- fascination with the fact that the cinema is uh, an experience, a, a collective experience, it's a ritual. And this is what I liked, that when you're a painter, you just sit in your, um, in your, uh, um, uh, you sort of, you paint and paint and paint, and you, 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 you have a, a vernissage, and you know th- nobody's looking and the paintings you know the girls chat a- a- around their dresses and the guys look at girls and people look for for cocktails and sex and there is no ritual and in cinema you have the ritual the the cinema is turned down turned off and you have this community and there is a participation in some in some show it's a magic of cinema so this is my naive Believe. approach I was 30 years old uh, later than you but I was very young then
Thank you very much. When I look at this today, I think this was a very naive and uh, uh, I just wanted to sort of practice some sort of meanders mm, of a brain of a young uh, animator because undoubtedly this film doesn't have anything that I really, w uh, I really cared for and I care for today that it has no feelings, no emotions. There is no emotions, there is no analysis of feelings, it's just a so story this was just my first films uh, i really like doing them let's see the other one just so that i know know what to talk about well the, the next movie was um, to a large extent this um, this adventure this meeting with a great artist changed my life i met tomasz stanko a giant a giant of music he's a he's a uh, world-class artist who wanted to co cooperate with us um, i drew with him from the green hill i can i will uh, give a short boast here i wanted him to make um uh, to, to music for the animation i will not show you because i didn't like it it's called shop 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 uh, I went to him to, uh, in Powiśle district in Warsaw. He said, well, "You know, I'm just I have a, 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 an album really being released right now uh, from the Green Hill, and the uh, and I left with him the uh, my VHS uh, materials. If you know Warsaw, you know that when I got out of Warsaw, I was driving my Hyundai Sonata uh, of, in choral language." And uh, eight minutes later, Stanko calls me. Uh, I saw, I saw what you were doing. Uh, come back, you will be making a clip for us. But for me, that was impossible. Stanko, history of Polish jazz music, and absolutely. Oh, so what should I say? It's a cra it's really crazy. Uh, it was the beginning of our friendship. We were friends until he did until the end of his life with Tomasz and we managed to combine the language for for Shifism, which I will uh, I will you don't have to draw anything to this music I mean the greatness of Tomasz consists in the fact that when I was doing uh, Kill It and Leave This Town you know that uh, animated film is a is a different na narration in, with Stanko this music is so graphic if I draw a tree which will be totally motionless and if I turn on Stanko um, uh, it will tell all the story it is very important for me Tomek I'm sorry but you didn't pay me anything for this either I mean he paid my cost Tomek at least a bit no. oh, he's a man uh, working with me is a distinction he didn't he didn't say um, a distinction, he said it's prestige. Of course he was right, because he selected me. But it was a time when I treated that all these, all my activities uh, like, a, like a hobby, like some like a joy that I can draw and can move. I earned my money in other ways, so it was always a, a pure hobby for me. I didn't combine any, I didn't uh, connect it to any, any future for myself. I was so happy that uh, 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 in terms of Terinsky, well, uh, I didn't care about, but uh, Tomasz Stanko was so thrilled with my uh, musical video and he, he wanted to work with me and he made a, a music to my movie, um, unfortunately, and he wrote a, an ingenious music for the movie that I'm working on right now. So it was all so important for me right now because I met Tomasz Stanko.
So for this re reason, this film was important for me. So I'm saying now that it already contains the attempt to construct something which is very important to me, some sort of a emotion, some sort of a feeling. It's still a bit of an awkward, it's a bit like a hybrid, it's a bit like a musical video, but it, this the next step on my s on the uh, on the on my path to development. And the first meeting with Tomek, which will come back with more perfect forms. Of course, I was drawing things. I did uh, review mm, the next uh, moment, which was very important for me, was the death of my of my mom, and uh, like unfinished discussions with my mom were the starting point for my most important movie. Uh, kill it and leave this town M but uh, Silent Night is a film I d a small short film I drew where my mother died she would died on the 1st October and uh, it was autumn the Christmas was coming and regardless of the religion reg whether we are at least in Poland the Christmas time f some people hate it for many reasons but uh, it works very strongly it's a very special moment and it, this was drawn where it was not so commercialized in Poland and it was uh, mm, a holiday, mm, an important uh, quasi-religious at least holiday. And I, I uh, this was a movie where I tried first, I uh, tried to say something about emotions. Uh, I know that these films look as, as, as if they were made 500 years ago, but it, I did them in very poor technologies. But I can use an uh, I can use the anecdote of uh, uh, Andrzej Fiokowski, my professor, when he was using poor paints. I said, "Professor, because it will break you." He said, um, uh, uh, "Art conservators also have to art curators also have to have work." So, "Wśród uh, Ciszy, which is uh, Silent Night, is a very short movie. It was important for me at that time. Can you turn down the light? I wanted to say something more, uh, but I just I, I forgot right now. Zorka was my dog, and this 
this um, film's name was the Televisor Zorka, and there was something else which I forgot. I think it was a, a film that was slightly inspired by the uh, M- Matches Girl. The next movie for me was, uh, which was most important for me at this stage, a very important one. It was called. Uh, it was a short film that I made to the music uh, uh, of Tomasz Stańko, and that was for me an incredible adventure. How he plays trumpet to this uh, story. His story was very convoluted because he ordered. He, uh, uh, Kaya, who was very popular with that, uh, she gave me an up- upfront payment, uh, l- like ten thousand zlotys, like, uh, uh, and she asked me to to draw that movie, and it was supposed to be four and a half minutes long, and I drew it maybe eight months, and I I really got went crazy. Kaya called me and said, "Listen, what's with the musical video?" I said, "I'm drawing the seventh minute." Yes, you you know. The, you're drawing the seventh minute you know it's uh it's like four and a half minutes long and she called me in and i say she treated me great because she saw what i did she liked it very very much and said okay uh it's done the promotion is next week there is no musical video but uh will not give back any money drawn at that time this money was uh, like incredible amount and I was drawing this uh, film uh, to Kronos Quartet, Quartet Music to Norton Feldman's piece and it functioned all very well and then uh, Jerzy Kapuściński, uh, like a good spirit, appeared in my life I don't know if you know him He's, it's, in fantastic person promoting independent culture he was living at that time and uh, on the in the second uh, the polish tv had this mission that it was catching people like like me trying to promote them nobody will believe it today but it was so he so he proposed to me uh, he sorry he uh, he suggested to me a retrospective of my short films in the uh, kazimierz festival I thought it is it was something so lofty and so crazy, but he took my movies, films, and and he went to Kazimierz. We went there together. Uh, I thought that I would have to get drunk uh, out of fear because th- it was like a huge tent, uh, but and I thought nobody would come to see that. Uh, and there were two ladies who came who said that the 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 tent is full. Uh, everybody watched that. Everybody liked it. And and uh, I really owe this to Jerzy Kapuściński and among and there was Tomasz Stańko among the viewers when he saw that he said I want to make music to that and I agreed and that was of course incredible this film was so mm, I I was making movies to um, to of course for myself but this film won a International Festival in Chicago and National Gallery in London also bought this so it was it was a prestigious thing what should I say still I didn't take care in any competitions however I was so happy about this distinction I will show you that movie I don't know if you manage it through this it's a very sad movie should I should I see it all or do you want to see it all? I think, I mean, later I will give you some lighter things, you know, and and better known movies, but in my, I believe this is the, my best short movie, apart from Sabi, which is very cute and which is the long, a very long film.
this movie, especially the, the last the last scene was my thank you to Kaya. I wanted to show her that because she supported me in that movie. And secondly, I think a, a much more important thing was that um, the music was is genius of Stanko. But it was so that because of course I couldn't afford it. So I agree, agreed. So I said, okay, you just have to make mm, sound for this, and I will just record the the trumpet. So I was sitting, I was sitting and adding the sounds to, to to this movie for several months. And I remember that he commented this when he looked at it. What is this? What the fuck is this? Uh, Bolek and Lolek. He got rid of all my sounds, which were very direct, and he made uh, a sound himself. And then I saw, I'm trying to be very multi. Uh, sort of un ambiguous in my writing so that there are many more meanings I can see that this is how Tomek works with the sound I don't know if you notice that the the whales which are floating the these are mm, I mean the the uh, the ships are actually whales if you have the the city the industrial instead of industrial he uh, city he gave a the sounds of of the Amazon so he you don't really hear it but he's doing with counter he's working with <coughs> uh, counter signals it's easy to say that it was made by Tomek he did it all himself in at his own house <coughs> it got mm, it got more universal it got, got more mm, mm, I don't think I don't want to, want to be too direct and he he got more artistic I like the magical mm, boxes to which you want to come back and I want to come back again and again and again. And now, but now, all sort of, because I'm generally a very merry man, but all the things that I did are st stigmatized by death. But the truth is, uh, I was approached by Grzegorz Ciechowski during some party because I I'm friends with musicians. Tadeusz Nalepa was very important for me, among others. Uh, we've been friends for over 30 years. And he suggested to me that sh we should make a movie, like a 30 minute uh, long animated movie that he will, Grzegorz Ciechowski, I don't know your young people, so I know if you know him. But it was a cult person in Poland. So I was also feeling weak at knees. He decided to give me a free hand, but and because he was writing texts for his uh, own uh, for his own um, uh, album, and his wife was pregnant, well, Anya said, yeah. and she said, you know, for the first time, I'm so happy in my life that I don't know what to write songs about. He said that, but he wrote the the this, the the music and the songs, and on the first of December, he brought it to me because he agreed with me. I was already mm, poised to cooperate with him. He was a great man. He would come to my uh, to my workshop, to my atelier, and I had a number of. Uh, I knew he was an erudite. Uh, he's not an, a musician like very musicians who are only about music, and he can only talk about instruments and t tonalities. That he. He's a gr he was a great man and he brought to me uh, death five uh, death ry rhythm five it was so important I'm talking about about this song because he when he brought this uh, album to me thanks to that album this song has survived it was of course uh, only by chance three weeks later uh, Gregor uh, died in some during some banal operation in one uh, of Warsaw hospitals, and when the first uh, um, moment of mourning was over, the producer heard that from his, from the wife of Anya that he brought me the song the on take five, and uh, that the, the, it was the only mixed version that was left. I used this comparison, you know, 35, six tracks in the computer, an unmixed song. Uh, it's as if you you would bring everything to the um, to the construction yard, all the 
elements and there is no project and you don't know what the house should look like and thanks to the fact that uh, he brought me the cd this song could have been reconstructed from those 36 tracks and i even promised that to janek matuszyński because he's van republika but it is a cd and grzesiek wrote on it that's on for take five So this is how formally it seems very simple in this movie. For me, it was very difficult because I like um, sort of flowing, floating on my ideas, doing un unexpected um, <coughs> excursions. And here I I got all into discipline. This was supposed to be the beginning of the film, the, and Gregor was dead. I decided it has to be a very simple death about passing, and I did it. And for me, it formally was very difficult to keep the bouts of my imagination on the leash, but I think we've managed, so I'll show it to you.
So this is my last short form before kill it and leave this town. I was one of the or original authors of the idea and within eight people including Paul McKinnon etc etc not knowing if anything will get out of this at all for free for a year under the command of Jerzy Kapuściński uh, we were working on the t TV TVP Kultura sta broadcasting station without any guarantee of success because nobody know, knew if there will be money for this but I love I think I love the most to work when something is at the first stage. I was thinking about it because I was also one of the of those who who was op organizing uh, the Męskie Granie. So f when I was working with Fischer Maden, Wojciech Waglecki and there was there were no sponsor outside of Żywiec. Uh, we were all like uh, this was a moment where, like during the, the during the immatriculation when everybody's uh, lying on uh, you know, the, you know, people are getting trying to get ready. Suddenly, you can smoke at the house. Everybody's learning. Mothers are bringing the food. So when we were working with Vaglaski, with Fisher Mother, and with others, that was the, the magical time. Th that's when we were creating TV culture. We we're almost fighting. We were, we were able to the best when and then it worked. And suddenly, money came. The budget was thirty million zlotys, which an annual budget which I don't I know I must tell you that this is nothing but thanks to that there were no um, there were no commercials we had total freedom and the freedom was that when it, it was launched I didn't want to do that initially but when Kapuściński he, he got he was bent on it to draw the whole artistic um, outline of the, the TVP Cultura and I got this proposal and I jumped into it so I did everything there and that was a moment as to say because today when you know bes because my students sometimes make things for tv for example zero tapir uh, so you have seven seconds there and you can't make a, a, any a frame more so i did a, a, s a stream which was i think i got fifty thousand and i bought a toyota RAV for this it's important a year um, one year toyota Japanese but I wanted to say that seriously I really bought that rough but, but the atmosphere was such that we had uh, a night program and I I was supposed to do 30 second uh, headers and I did I got all um, emotional and I did a minute and ten I said one minute ten okay yeah so we had one minute ten uh, of Virka for for the money worth of thirty seconds. So it's the, the, you can see what was the character of. The we started to commercialize it. There were more and more money. Initially, it was so. Uh, why am I talking to you about this m movie? I wanted to say about a few things. So, initially in two thousand six, I got. Uh, a proposal of something that changed my life artistic life 180 degrees I got a proposal not something that doesn't happen I got an email I thought it's spam I got the second one I opened it invitation from the contemporary museum in New York it, would they agree for the retrospective of my animations I don't know what I should compare it to it's as if you suddenly got uh, an opportunity to for a journey to Mars I didn't see show anything in my festivals in Poland, maybe some Yakim festival. I, I didn't have any ambition or, of sorts. I did my own creaky, crazy stuff, and then I learned how it happened. It happened so that four years before, in the year 2000, there was a big retrospective in the uh, contemporary museum uh, art museum uh, of polish animation and they were selecting selecting Mar martyr gizycki who knew people like me like guys who did not take part in any competitions but they were sort of uh, he showed it to them and they said it's um, allegedly great but i'm not a classic class a classical lenica kucha they showed all these but then they did observe me 
I never had a feeling that such big institutions work like this, that the curators are watching people like me. They were watching me, I was lucky. In 2006, I got this letter, and that was a moment when uh, you, you didn't deal things on the internet, so I flew to New York to agree with them on uh, this retrospective. It was, I, I almost don't know any English, so I said I would learn English. I remember this old curator, Sir Charles Silver, said, don't learn English, draw movies. We will give you a translator. So they were driving me around and I felt like B.B. King. Nevertheless, uh, th there was a, a, a film in retrospective, shop, 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 because it's very Polish, it's very... I knew that from the outside because I'm an old guy that if I'm going to New York, if I'm to show in, uh, in New York the, the most important part for the contemporary art, I, I don't want to exhibit for Polonia. I wanted to, if you go to New York, you want to show things to Americans. The American Jews, all the elite, not uh, uh, not not the guy for with the, with the Polish people. I don't. Uh, maybe it's stupid. Um, it's not no sense in doing something like this. But I I remember I lied to the guy that I have a new movie. I don't to, to want to show Chopin. It's a, a bit more jolly that breaks through this my paradigm of sadness. A film about about a cat and a mouse, and he and he believed me. He said, and and it was I. He he said, okay. What was would be the name? I said it's gonna be called Kizimizi. He, the translator said, and he said, okay. Of course, that was a lie. There was no such film. And on top of this, I had this my this authentic regret uh, that all these headers that we did for t TVP Cult Cultura were so ephemeric. Uh, that you do it, it's working for a month or so, and etc., and then they disappear. TV is um, here and now, and then it disappears. I said, interestingly, I will get 20 of my best uh, headings, and I have already movie. Of course, it happened that it, that's not true. Mm. I drew, I drew, I, I took several of my headings and I drew uh, several scenes and I got the most, the saddest film I did in my career. It's very, very sad. It's about loneliness. It was important for me uh, too because I made it for New York and the thing I would like to mention in the beginning, um, I was sort of wondering for a long time in a song, you know, this song is very, very hard. I don't know, you, I can show you a, a shortcut but because it's really depressing. But we have some time. And then I will show you jolly things and beautiful things. I just wanted to uh, to tell you that should the song of Tadeusz Nalepa, uh, uh, why, why, why did the, what did the f flowers dwindle today? Because I loved Nalepa. Nalepa was my mentor. He was uh, sort of a father, father figure f to me, then a friend. I lived for weeks on and in his house, and I, he was the most important man in my life. So I really wanted to have that song. But I preferred a pre uh, Peter Green's early song, Midi Love So Bad, because it had those violins and it was so film like. And I selected that song of Peter Green. And I remember that when we were. Um, I I got called by Piotr syn Nalepa and then the wife of Nalepa that Tadeusz is dead and that, that was horrible and I cried um, and I said sorry, I have to do something that, that I'm, a, I'm a total dick and I st came up with the beginning you know there's, th there's at least a bit of a piece of Nalepa they will come I thought that so this film is uh, Longish. It was premiered in the art museum, in the contemporary art museum in New York. So the rest was retrospective, and this was uh, a, a separate event there because this was not an old movie. It was so different that it was a, in an official competition to Berlin Alley.
So this is like the magic box, which is animation, and this is what it is about, uh, what we told about in the beginning, that, that you can draw your own movie, your own dreams, having a, a table, just a table and a piece of paper, and people then what can watch it. And a film, uh, I let me kill it and leave this down, this is my greatest success, that it can be a film. Because the world of animation is fun, it's, it's a world of art, but it's very hermetic, it's very closed. But the film starts where a movie goes to, into the cinema and they start to talk about it, they buy tickets. And I, I didn't realize that this is what my movie, Kill It and Leave This Town, would achieve that. But when I was leaving this meeting with the curators, it was my third meeting because serious inst institutions me meet, you meet there 10 times and you agree to everything. Over a year ago before, or maybe one and a half year ago, this is how uh, advanced they have uh, time they, they need. I remember I went to an Italian mm, uh, district and I started to sketch and, and I did my first sketches to kill it and leave this town over which I worked 14 years, uh, 8 years, for uh, for 8 years I was only alone. Uh, I didn't know it would be such a big movie and I was drawing because I was drawing it. After 4 years I allowed 2 years to work uh, on this m with me. They'll, they'll be working w with me on the new movie because right now I'm still doing this myself. Uh, Jaroslav Barzan, a colleague of a colleague of mine, and a sound engineer uh, Kozlowski, who helped me to add the sounds. And for eight years we were working in such a way that we were si I was sitting in my atelier and I was drawing and drawing. And Jarek Barzan was coming to me and to edit uh, once a, m a month, and we were doing the, and the sound man we did something. And after a few years, after a few years, I started to adding new people, not b because of lack of respect, because it's a very very mm, close community of Piotr Szczepanowicz and my my colleague, and they then I would add uh, animators. In the last four years, it was a bit difficult because these were very intimate things. For me, uh, over re I realized I would make this mi for film for the next 30 years, probably. Um, so I selected them from among the animators. What can I tell you about the Kill It and Leave This Town? I think that, apart from everything, the fact that, you know, w I won everything in Poland, all the most important festivals. I, uh, I got... Uh, uh, eagles, I got lions. Whenever I it was, I went. I I never got a second prize anywhere. It got f forty five awards all around the world. So it was. Uh, uh, we we had uh, we had reviews, a uh, very good reviews in God the Guardian, in New York Times. Uh, in Le Monde, Target Spiegel. In over sixty newspapers. And I'm too old. Uh, for me to 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 get it to let it get in my head, but it changed my thinking about art through the reaction of the viewers because the viewers after the Berlinale we had premiere in the, at the Berlinale that was the only Polish movie in the competition there the premiere in Berlinale wow well, so for something it's it's nothing but I don't know if it's one of the three most important festivals in the world and you can feed there. A lot of prestige were opened by the director of the festival. And after all this, people would come up. It was three, two and a half months before the pandemic and people s started tell to tell me things I didn't realize. He, they said that they would like to thank you. Uh, that the first time w will happen after the Berlinale, they will visit their own father and mother. I mean, I I made a film about my mother and I realized I, I I didn't couldn't understand that why what these people were saying. You know, people were from all around the world, from the United States, from Australia, from South America, with from Japan, Euro, Eastern Europe, and they all said the same. It was funny that people from s Central East Eastern Europe that they I managed to grasp this beauty of communism that m went away, and people from Australia and America and Japan they said how great. I I managed to grasp this hell of communism. So it depends on how you want to see, look at this. The most important thing is that this film made me realize I got over 100 different letters 
and the letter that I re recollect quite often, it was written by our lady from Berlin that after watching that movie, she f uh, found her father with whom she was in disagreement for, for te over 10 years and the last three months of his life um, she took her from the uh, from the care house from the uh, to her ha to her home and the other one I got from the lady who felt that she's not afraid of that anymore after this movie because she's in terminal um, she's terminal ill she has one month left and I have plenty of letters like that and then I realized that sh that even if uh, if you're a freak and you do such it's important to give something to people if it works i didn't realize that i'm not i didn't, I didn't have any uh, i was drawing that for my mother i don't know i didn't know if there is any uh, if my mother sees it but i had to cleanse myself of something that i did wrong against my mother it was quite weird be because people was were watching this film on the sun of valentine's day Polish box office, we were second place for animation, which I thought would be shown twice in in Łódź, in Charlie Cinema, which was like rundown, and if in Rzeszów because Tadeusz Nalepa is from Rzeszów, and right now we're in, in Kino Muranów. I just wanted to say that it was over 100 authors' meetings with this movie. It was something incredible, something nobody expected. That 70 percent of our of our viewership was young people and in this group 70 percent were girls women this is not um, i mean you can see how the position of women are changing how active they are how they go beyond what the guys uh, do they're more empathic they're more interested in culture i can see that in our film school in, in Wuch for the last 10 years when we've been accepting them usually you have like 10 girls for in 10 places so what i want to say i will show you a piece of uh I'll kill it and leave this down and i will play to you a part a, a piece of what i'm doing now these young people were j raising was standing up in in this during this the during this meeting they, they will take care of their old grandfather mother so they transferred i i thought i i made a film I, I'm I'm making a film for 40 plus people, you know, death of the mother, etc., etc. Et that that's something you feel when you're 40 years old. And not. I remember a lady in Białystok. There was a meeting. Uh, you know, this was the, the time of the of those face masks. She said, thanks to that movie. You know, her grandfather died, and she understood everything, and she and she and she was 14. I didn't. I couldn't see her because of the mask, and I realized that it. This film reached two people. I wanted to make a movie. I I want to play a piece for you. I wanted them to show you something new. This is an important scene because I was thinking in the premiere that in during the movie I thought that my dog will be there, Lucia, and unfortunately she was sitting here on my shoulder when I was drawing this movie. And she died just before the premiere. I did something. Thanks to Eva Pushinska, I did something that you don't generally don't do because in Berlin now they have to be DCP just before the uh, the festival, and then you don't 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 move it. That's why they have the uh, the the, the, the screenings that you have there. And I. I just wanted on the. I just wanted to put one th the 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 heart. And write Lucia on the wall, and she convinced the Germans, and they allowed me to send a DCP just a few days before the the uh, pre the premiere, which you generally don't do. So you will see on the on the right hand side Lucia uh, for three seconds. <laughs> 